Well, listen, Kurt, this is the build to no surrender and the four way to glory where three people are going to take on Samoa Joe for the TNA title. And the winner is going to move on to bound for glory as the champion. And we're going to see Abyss and Matt Morgan team up and take on you and Booker. Do you need to be working in more tag and multi-man matches for your body's sake here? Or I guess, like you said, it was whatever they wanted me to do. I'm just going to do it, Paul. Yes, yes. And, you know, uh, you know, WWE, you know, when I got injured and I was hurt, they would book me in uh, tag matches quite a bit at house shows, uh, live events. Uh, Impact Wrestling, they didn't do it so much. They they probably should have done it more than they did, uh, but but I never asked for it. But I think, you know, as, as a... As a booker, you should know, okay, Kurt's a little banged up. We need to put him in some tag matches for a little while. So I, I think it's really the booker's responsibility. And it's it's not me to have to speak up and say, hey, I'm hurt. Hey, you know I'm hurt. Uh, you know, put me in some tag matches. I think it's really up to the booker to do that. And that's his responsibility. Two guys I want to talk to you about before we continue to move on. And uh, one is Matt Morgan. I mean, don't you think TNA had something bigger than Matt Morgan? Yes, yes, the kid had so much talent. I wrestled him at Bound for Glory, Glory one year, and uh, I know Meltzer will never give me a five star, but that was about as close to a five star match as you can get. I mean, I, we pulled it off, and 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 Matt showed me how much talent he had. I, I really think that TNA could have done a lot more with Matt Morgan. Yes. I also want to ask you your thoughts about Abyss. Oh, he speaks for himself. He had an awesome career. He had an incredible career. I thought he relied too much on hardcore stuff because the kid could wrestle, like really wrestle. And uh, he didn't need to do all that stuff. But his character was a monster. And, you know, that that portrayed that he had to do some, um, you know, some uh, physical stuff with yeah. weapons and stuff. But, but as a wrestler, he was really, really good. I believe he's still working for WWE at this point, behind the scenes. Yes, he is. He's a producer and he's kicking ass, man. He's really good at his job. Yeah. Really is. Yeah. Another mind for the business. There you he go. Is. Great mind. 